Hey guys, welcome back to my parents' kitchen. Today we're making pasta called aglio e olio. Pretty much it's pasta with garlic and olive oil. Let's see what we need. Let's go. For our recipe, we have linguine, 300 grams, some garlic, some parmigiano cheese, parsley, salt, pepper, and olive oil. Let's make some room and start off our prep. We'll start off with our garlic. The rest can go away. Starting off with our garlic, the aglio, the main part. We need a lot of garlic. Luckily for me, I like it. That should be enough for now. And let's slice and dice. You want to slice them about the same size. One done, many more to go. One last one, and there we go. Our garlic is done. Put it back in the bowl where it came from. Let's move on to our parsley. Parsley, quite a bit. Let's decapitate it. That's good enough for today. The rest can go away. Cut that away and bring it all together. And let's slice and dice. Bring it back together and let's go. Put it back here. Bowl there and reserve. We'll clean up, I'll see you guys soon. We cleaned, we're back. Let's grate our cheese. Parmigiano Reggiano and let's start grating. Up to you how much cheese you want. I absolutely adore cheese, so a lot of cheese. All right, that should be good for today and our cheese will hide it for later. In a medium to medium large pan, heat it up on the high. Aglio y olio, so we need oil, olive oil. Get a good one, don't cheap out. We need a nice base and let it heat up. Our oil's just a bit hot, we'll add in all of our garlic. Slap it all in and incorporate it all in with the olive oil. We do not want to cook the garlic all the way through, we just want to color it. Shake and bake, baby, let's go. During that time, I'm gonna heat up the water for my pasta. Heat on high, two liters of water, salt, 20 grams. And to our garlic for a hint of spice, it's optional, isu, chili, paprika, half and half. It's gonna add a little kick of flavor and some color to our dish. While waiting for our water to boil, our garlic is almost done. You can turn the heat off. Our water is boiling. Drop your pasta in. And once the water comes back to a boil, we'll wait four minutes. Our water is back to boiling. One, two, three, four. And wait four minutes. We won't cook them all the way through. We want them extra al dente. We'll cook them more later. Four minutes. Our pasta is done. Now, let's do one last spinny spin. You can turn the heat here back on the high. Heat on high. Pass the water off. Grab our pasta and put it in with our garlic and olive oil. Couple last pieces. Done. Incorporate. We can cover it all in our spicy garlic olive oil. Grab just a bit of water with starch. Now our goal is to reduce the water we put in so that only the starch is left to create a nice thick sauce. A tad of salt, a tad of pepper, parsley, and cheese. Start off with a bit now and the rest for after. And stir to incorporate it all together. A bit more cheese. No one said it was a healthy recipe. And there we go. The water is reduced, heat off. Now our pasta is time to serve. Twist and the serving for me and my cameraman. Let's see what we have. I need to be frank with you, I put a lot of cheese in here. It's our lunch for right now, so I made it to how we like it. Some garlic on top, and the final touch, just a tad more parsley. Our pasta is ready. Well, it might not be the most authentic version out there, but it's my recipe, I really enjoy it, so I recommend that you try it. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in our next video. See ya, bye.